領域展開。無料空所。What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Smasher here, and today I want to talk to you guys about Yakuza. Well, not just Yakuza, honestly. Specifically, you know how you play a game and a certain type of game, and you get that itch for another game that's real similar to it? You know, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Kind of like if you play Yakuza, and then, you know, you got another game out there, like maybe, I don't know, Sleeping Dogs, that can get you to that itch, you know, just get you in that right spot, you know, get you feeling good again. I'm like, oh man, I can't believe a game like this is just, but. In、most cases with Yakuza, I mean, there's seven games, so there will no actually more, but <laughs> that's a pretty big fucking franchise, honestly. When you play Yakuza, you're in for life, all right? That's just what it is, guys. You don't, you, when you walk into Yakuza, you don't walk out, you know, you don't beat a dragon of Dojima, you just quit. You're the dragon of Dojima for life. That's just how it goes, all right? I don't make the rules here, guys. I don't. On a serious note, though, if you haven't played Yakuza, I suggest you do. Great game, all right? Especially Yakuza 0. It's a go to game. I still need to play Yakuza 1 through、um, 6. Wait, is it 1 through 6? Or is it. Yeah, yeah, 1 through 6. Yeah, I told you guys before, right? I haven't played the 1 through 6. I still got them in my backlog of games that I need to play. I know, I'm going to get to them. I played 7, Infinite Wealth, and.、Um, what was it? The Guiding? Yeah, I played those. Great games. Honestly, so much content. I definitely couldn't get through all the content. But I did play the main story, though, and beat those. So, great games. But if you guys also want another game that you want to play similar to Yakuza, Sleeping Dolls is a great game, also. Many people know about this game, but don't know about it. Like, I've met a couple of people I know, friends, that may bring up like games like Ratchet Clank, a little bit Planet Monish Racers, but they don't really mention Sleeping Dolls like that, which is something I find kind of interesting because I didn't know about it either. I didn't play Sleeping Dolls too, I got a PS4. And I found it around that era, and then I just got it, and it was on sale, and it was all so much fun. The game was just out of this world that I thought the Wonder World, like, how does the game not get a sequel? Sleeping Dogs literally had a potential to really continue to be a huge franchise. Overall, though, even though it didn't continue to make a sequel or anything of that nature, but Sleeping Dogs is still a great game, honestly. If you really want like, a single player game and just like a one off type of story that you know, it tells the story from beginning to the end all in one game, then Sleeping Dogs is the game for you. I understand that a lot of people don't want to play games that require you to play multiple sequels. And Yakuza you know, is one of those games that kind of, well, any kind of it does require you to go from one, from zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven because the narrative is all connected to one to the other. So. You might end on one note, you know, and I think that Yakuza does a great job in ending their games in a satisfactory way, where it's like you feel satisfied as you beat the game, but that's not the end of the story type of deal. There's more to the story, but if you want to stop there, then, you know, it's like one of those things of you'll feel satisfied. You're not going to be feeling empty like you, you don't really know the end of the story. Like you can be like, yeah, this is definitely how the story could end. But I think that's how it feels, at least for kind of like Yakuza Zero. But、I'm not sure how it went for like one all the way up to six. I know, like in Dragon, how those go. Those definitely what you want to know more because that's just how fun the journey becomes as you go along. But Sleeping Dolls is an interesting game, honestly. And I don't want to get too deep into it because I'm trying to avoid spoilers in this video. In case you guys do decide to play it, I'm going to avoid spoilers just for you guys. All right. I just wanted to get you guys to know about these games and, you know, be more aware that these games exist because these games can be games that. It could go on people's radars. They don't really talk about it like that. They don't really know much about it like that. And it's just, you know, it can be kind of sad to know that so many people don't know about these great games. And I want you guys to know. All right. Sleeping Dolls is very similar. It's like a, I want to say it's very similar to Yakuza. Honestly, I can't really say it's really that similar at all. Well, they got that free flow combat like Yakuza Zero does. But for other Yakuza, like one that,、uh, one to six, I'm not sure if those really go back to the free flow combat. Honestly, I've seen some gameplay for like. Five and six, and I think those were like turn based for like I can remember. It's been a while, a couple years ago when I saw that. And for the most part, you got the free flow combat going on in the Yakuza Zero, which honestly threw me off real heavy when I realized, like, yeah, that wasn't the case when I went from that to like a dragon and I started on seven. But for weirdly, you don't really need to play Yakuza Zero through six to really get into like a dragon, at least not the first one, because that's like a whole new main character and everything. Sleeping Dolls is basically GTA. With a smaller map and a more story driven narrative going on for it. So, like, everything really matters when you play Sleeping Dogs. When you're playing the game and you're going through and doing things like side missions and Sleeping Dogs, it all kind of contributes to the story in some way or other. But don't get me wrong, it's still a really fun game. 
because Sleeping Dogs was definitely inspired heavily by GTA and Yakuza games like that. And I think that's a good thing, honestly. Those type of games definitely helped it create its identity and definitely help it be itself, you know, and definitely just made it more fun. But I think it could have been a lot more fun with the story. The story wasn't terrible, but I do think the story could have, you know, lived up to a greater potential, all right? But like I said, if you do like Yakuza, I think you will enjoy Sleeping Dolls. But then again, if you like Sleeping Dolls, you're probably going to have more fun playing Yakuza simply for the fact that Yakuza takes place in a small city of commercial, and it's only but well, I ain't gonna say it's not much for you to do. Actually, in Yakuza, especially Yakuza games in general, that's a lot for you to do. Right? You got so many side missions that you can do with commercial, it's insane, honestly. You wouldn't think you would have that many missions in such a small like map in the city, but there's a lot. And like the story all takes place in that one, but well, it don't all takes place in commercial you might go to different locations but unlike sleeping dolls like you don't drive there nothing like that those mechanics ain't never really been brought to yakuza you just go and you just get in the taxi and you get down to like fresh prints <laughs> you just get there and just be like yo hold the commercial and you just get there you know it's as simple as that but i think those games definitely have a lot of fun between the two of them when you can play and do that free flow combat between yakuza zero and definitely sleeping dolls so i think that can be a very strong aspect that a lot of people remember for sleeping dolls and i think you will enjoy yakuza now i can understand why many people may not want to play yakuza because well yakuza can be a very long story and this cut scenes can be really long inside yakuza 2 can really have you not want to basically be into the game too much and if that's the case, then some people might end up skipping cutscenes, and then you might not be into the story, paying attention, and you might not want to be interested in where the story goes. So that's always the thing that can always happen. But I think that might be a lot more easier for people just get into Sleeping Dolls. But then again, I feel like you still have more fun playing Yakuza. Honestly, I don't think those games are that similar at all, honestly. I just think that the free flow combat, honestly, between the two of them, you know, can really help you connect and want to enjoy one game and then you have enjoy the other. But I think a lot of people probably enjoy Sleeping Dolls a little bit. Well, I think more of a person who's played a lot of GTA would enjoy Sleeping Dolls a lot more because of what you can do and it's really similar to it. But then you got that free flow combat. Somebody from Yakuza who played a lot of Yakuza games might enjoy it because, you know, you got that combat and then you also just got that extra benefit of just being able to go around the city and just go ahead and level it up and get more skills and learn how to fight with different combos. So, you know, it's a lot you know, it's a lot of benefit for both sides, honestly. And I think that's great for both games. And I think that, in a way, kind of helps them. You know, you, you know, you cross paths a bit, you know. But I don't think it's that similar to the point where I can compare them. Because Yagaza is just really, really, really different. Smaller map. You know, no driving. And not even just that. You also just have more crazier side missions in Yagaza than you ever will, probably, in Sleeping Dogs. I can't remember if there were a lot of side missions in Sleeping Dogs. It's been a long time since I played the game. I played it on the PS4, so it's been a minute since I played it, honestly. And I think for the most part, though, they, they had their ups and they both have their downs. I think Yakuza has more ups, though. But then again, I guess that all depends on which Yakuza that you play. I mean, to be honest, Sleeping Dolls, in my opinion, I feel like it's more fun. At least when it just comes down to just combat, honestly. Don't get me wrong. I do love Yakuza games, and I do love the turn-based combat, but I do think that it is more fun and just more exciting to just be able to free flow and have that sort of combat going for you, and it's just being able to be in the cars and drive stuff. But then again, you know, you want to do all that, you could just play GTA, and you have more to offer for doing that. But I think I do like the story of Sleeping Dogs a lot. I don't like it more than Yakuza, though. I like Yakuza's story more, way more. And just honestly, when it comes down to Yakuza 0 versus Sleeping Dogs, though, I ain't told you guys, Yakuza 0 got it. I gotta give it to him, bro. That break dancing shit, that shit is fire. It just looks more dynamic when you look at it, how the free flow goes and how like crazy the styles really look compared to how it is in Sleeping Dolls. Don't get me wrong though. Like I said before, it's more fun to do it in Sleeping Dolls because Sleeping Dolls is a much more small open world. So like, I can really just go around the entire city, drive, you know, get into crazy fights and do this and do that. That's not really the case in Yakuza 0 because you're really in common control and you're not really going to go out of the city. You can't drive. But they make up for that with all the crazy wacky side missions. So at the end of the day, I think, you know, balancing it out one another. And that's why I think that's the only comparison you can really make right there between, like, Yakuza and the Sleeping Dogs. At least Yakuza 0. Now, the rest of the Yakuza, that's an entirely different story because those games go, like, a different route entirely. So... Especially like a dragon. I think guiding kind of goes back into the free flow combat a bit, but it, it's not the same. 
you'll understand if you play like a dragon guy. Don't get me wrong though, it's a lot of fun, but it's not as fluid as it is in Yakuza 0, but I just want to encourage you guys to play the Yakuza 0 and also play Sleeping Dog. So if you like one, you might like the other. If you like the other, you might like the other one. Or you might hate one or hate both. Hey, do what you will. I'm just here to encourage you guys to, you know, at least give it a try. All right, with all that being said, those folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Life, like the video, the size of the video. Tell me what you think, officer, below. And tell me, how do you think Sleeping Dogs compare to Yakuza 0? All right, not the other Yakuza games, just Yakuza 0, honestly. How do you think those two games compare to one another? Do you think they're similar? Do you think these games are very different from one another? Or what? But all that being said, though, I keep saying that next time. I'm special. See ya. Oh, <laughs>